75 northern groups place 100 million naira bounty on IPOB leader Unandi Kano. The group claims Kano and the IBOP's uh, security outfit known as the Eastern Security Out Network ESN are behind recent numerous attack on northern community in the southeast. An assembly of 75 northern groups under the under the suspices of the northern consensus movement has disclosed that it will pay a reward of 100 million to persons who can who can produce the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IBOP, now the Kano, for the continuation of his prosecution for alleged treason, Vanguard reports. The groups revealed this at a press briefing in Abuja on Thursday evening, adding that Kano and the IBOP security outfit, known as the Eastern Security Network, are behind recent numerous attack on northern community in the southeast. Dr. Awau Abdullahi Ali Aliyu spoke on, on the behalf of the coalition and urged the United States of America, the United Kingdom, and the European Union to assist in I, to assist in the I, IPOB health man's repatriation to Nigeria so as to face the charges against him. Aliu says the, the Northern Consensus movement on amalgamation of more than 75 civil society groups of Northern extraction has taken it upon themselves as active citizens of this country, Nigeria, to state in, in unequivocal terms that we are declaring Unam the Kano wanted for crimes against humanity and for the for the in, in, for the instigating the killings of innocent northerners in the southeast via his hate speech. We want him to answer for the killing and destruction of northerners residing and undertaking lawful business in the southeast part of Nigeria. So we are placing a bounty of 100 million, 100 million naira as an offer to anyone who can produce him alive, hale, hearty, and un uninjured to us for award delivery to the security agencies for the continuation of his prosecution. We call on both the US, the UK, and the EU champions of democracy, rules of law, and freedom of speech and expression to kindly and humbly respect Nigerians' sovereignty and facilitate the, the, the repatriation of Nandi Kano to Nigeria. You have spoken well, but I want you to note some point. Do you think the United Kingdom, the United Nations, and the EU you are, you are talking to are foolish? They are not foolish. At least before they will repatriate somebody to his own country, there is a process that person has got to be able to stay there. And they will go into that process as well. So before this man will be repatriated to Nigeria, as you are saying, they must go through process. Because he is not staying there unlawful. He is staying there by law. So you are just talking what you do not know about. Now, you are saying this, but you do not remember what the Flanny headsman has done to the people in their land. You are saying your own. That is why sometimes I'm saying that the problem in Nigeria will not finish. It will continue. Because you people, you never speak the fact. You are saying what is paining you. You are saying your people who live in the southeast were killed by, by ESN, IPOB. What of the evils that have been murdered by your flanny headsmen? Have you said anything about that? So don't think that people are people are not fools. So this your expression, this your letter, it may not go to anywhere. Because where Unam the Kano is right now, the people there, they are not stupid. The people, they are wise. 
do you understand me and you cannot you, you cannot send any assassination against him if that happened i'm telling you you will incur the anger of the united states the united kingdom and also the eu as well because those both they are wise can we tell you the destruction that is being done by flying headsmen in the southwest south south and southeast do you think of that have you analyzing have you taken analysis of what flan headsmen has done to people there you are just speaking your own that is why i'm saying that problem will continue to escalate in nigeria because i do not think these northern people are ready for peace talk